give you a little walkthrough, show you what this boat has besides uh, some of the standard things it comes with and then optional what we did in this particular boat for this gentleman. Um, well, all of our boats come standard with the large two-piece windshield with the, with the door on the side, which in my, in my mind makes a lot of sense. Um, in crummy weather with poor visibility, you've got way better visibility with three or with two big pieces of glass rather than what you commonly see, three smaller ones with a center door. So here where my line of sight is, I'm looking right through the center, um, I've got great visibility, which is a big deal to me. Um, as soon as you leave the boat ramp, the way in and out of this thing is through the bow. So when our large door opens up over here, access in and out is really easy. Whether it's carrying large gear, a cooler, bringing my grandpa along who's not as agile, access in and out of the front, in my opinion, is hard to beat with our large two-piece walkthrough windshield. Nice wide dash. That's standard on all the boats. Again, I'm I'm 6'2". This, this seat's adjustable. I can move it all around. I've got lots of leg room. The dash is at a height where I feel really good sitting and driving. When I go to stand and drive, standing straight up and down, I still have my hand on the wheel. I don't have to feel like I'm crouching, bouncing my chin off the top of the windshield. So ergonomically, we think about a lot of these things and it's, it's well laid out in that perspective. Boat comes standard with all blue sea components for the electrical system. Blue sea switches we have over here in this boat, that was a preference as far as location. All the switches, battery switches, negative terminals, fuse blocks, again, all Blue Sea. Blue Sea's a brand, high quality stuff. So normally we'd have a, a step here, as you see, but with this one, we did something a little different. This step actually is a storage box that's lockable. It recesses down below the floor level. He wants to put a winch down below and, and gave us the specs and dimensions for his winch in case he gets stuck somewhere, can happen. And when you're in the bush of Alaska, it's important you're very prepared, bring extras with you. So this box, again, it goes deeper than you can see, but it was made specifically for just something he gave me a dimension of. Grab rails are standard. Of course, the windshield all the way around is standard. Storage underneath the floor is standard. He's got the upgraded Bentley's Mariner mechanical suspension seats. Adjustable, they slide forward and back, four different height adjustments. They can adjust the backrest, got arms. You can adjust the ride, firm or softer, depending on the size of the person or the rough roughness of the water that it brings. Okay, so I'll point out a few other things you see here on the dash. Again, a nice wide dash wheel, that's standard. <laughs> on this boat, again, this boat's powered by Yanmar 8LV turbo diesel. Yanmar is in this particular engine. The 8LV is a Toyota engine. has 370 horsepower. It's all fly-by-wire. This is our throttle for, for the Anmar engine. Comes standard with a digital gauge. Tells us lots what's going on inside the engine. Different voltage that's coming from it. Fuel economy, tachometer, etc. Lots, lots more features as well. Uh, digital start and stop. And it also has a mechanical backup. For some reason, the digital side of things failed. You can start and control throttle with a mechanical section here and that's what that is so that's power over on the far side uh, we have a cobalt uh, lever here to shift the Hamilton um, between forward neutral and reverse so what I like about having the throttle and the shift of the bucket separate is it gives me way more fine-tuning and adjustment with slow speed control a lot of boats they have the one lever and your throttle and shift is all in one and, and that's all fine and well and some people love that. I like this a lot because I can have myself giving a little bit of throttle and be shifting at the same time in and out of forward neutral and reverse by leaving the throttle maybe a high a little uh, more than just idle. When you have the one that, that it's all in one you're doing it all at the same time you do not have the option to give myself a little bit of thrust shift in and out of forward and, and reverse with a Hamilton whether it's 212 or 213 like this turning the wheel whether I'm in forward neutral reverse the bow will always go the direction I turn the wheel port or starboard so shifting in and out maneuvering in and out of tight spots spinning on a dime having myself thrust and shifting separate gives me way more fine tunability now as a personal preference thing which I like my father likes you don't have to do that, but that is one thing I really like that setup. So the other things that you see here, there's a, a switch here. This is his heater, that's optional. So we have a duct up here behind the Garmin display, which we can aim on the dash for defrost. We have one here, which we can aim on the passenger door for defrost or aim back at the passenger themselves. 
there's another duct over here to my side to give me a little bit of heat as well. You get all my switches on this side of the boat. Got a nice Garmin GPS map 741XS with an Airmar P66 transducer at the back. This is a great for charts, uh, seeing where we're at, navigation, we've got depth, fish finding ability, all of that. And also this, this boat has a NEMA 2000 backbone, so the engine is also connected to the Garmin. So not only can I see a lot of the engine data on the, the Yanmar digital screen here, which is really sharp and really nice tool, I can also see it on here. So if I've got my chart displayed, I can also have in the corner or on the sides data bar showing me my economy at that time and that particular RPM that I'm running. So again, for people running long distances, this boat especially, being in the bush of Alaska, being remote, knowing how much fuel we have, how much we're burning, how much is left, all that is an awesome tool to have. So anyhow, that's the front, that's the helm here. And uh, I hope you get a little good visual of that. We'll move back and I'll show you some more. You can see the big bench seats behind me. Well, they're, they're a little extra big and there's some neat features that they have built into them. We'll take a look at that. All right, well, here I am seated just a hair further back. And again, get a little better visual of the inside of our removable hardtop. Got a couple LED dome lights. This one, we did some side trays up above. Real long bench seats you can see here. And again, see, storage under the floor I've got a hatch here I've got a hatch there a little view a little bit better view of our Bentley's Mariner suspension seats got to catch all in the back there's full-length side trays down below behind all this um, so what's neat about these seats here they're long benches so we can sit a lot of people we could store lots of gear down below but these also turn into a bed so I'll show you what it looks like when it turns into a bed all right well that's uh, what it looks like when we're a bed basically we're taking the backrest, we got some spars that go across connecting the boxes and we lay the backrest down inside of there and again I'm about 6'2", 6'3", it's plenty comfortable for me and if you got cozy three of me could, could lay here that's for sure so sleeping under the cover you don't have to pitch a tent out there with Yogi Bear on the beach you can sit out here keep your canvas up and be in your own tent on the boat so whether you're hunting, fishing, or doing what John's doing, this is a pretty neat little setup. All right, well, here we are at the back of the boat. You can see we're getting big engine cover, <laughs> big engine, <laughs> Yanmar 8LV diesel engine. Uh, motor forward again, two foot drive shaft, so to walk all the way around the back side, which is handy, okay? This boat down under the floor here, got a couple batteries, got a battery switch, fuse panel. Um, and uh, these are our switches for the different fuel tanks, port and starboard, what we want to run off of and uh, what we're back feeding into. So that's that. Again, big engine cover, side trays all the way down. Got a little tow kick. I can get my feet underneath the side here if I am standing next to the side of the boat. In the back here, this is standard. Got a big transom sink in the back. Got his wash down pump and hose. This little door back here. There's a locking door for the fuel fills for both tanks. Uh, sometimes as remote as he is, we want to be able to lock that just for tamper proof. So it's a neat little idea. All right, well here we are behind the engine cover. Uh, between the engine cover and the transom, I've removed the floorboard here, which is just quick removal. Transom board, there's also side ones you can get to everything back here. We're looking at the front end of the Hamilton 213 jet. Very, very similar to the Hamilton 212 jet, except the 213 has hydraulics to shift the bucket up and down under pressure of water. You can see the drive shaft here. All Hamiltons have the two bolts, remove a cap, get a clean out there right at the drive shaft. If you ever get something wedged, just perfect. It's an easy clean out while out in the water. Got a sand trap here, got our wash down pump. You saw the spigot was in the sink, got a couple bilge pumps and, uh, and a float switch. And we have the seacock down below going to the wash down pump for extra safety. Blower hoses going down below. We got a couple blowers down in this bad boy. Well, that's down inside the transom. Let's take a look at uh, what's under the engine cover. Moment of truth, gonna look at the, uh, the engine. You can see the full welded engine cover here. He's got a little latch here so he can lock it up if he wants. Um, one option that some people do, usually in a more recreational use than this boat, would be carpet and a upholstery on this one. This one's going to be hauling lots of gear, and he may add it at some point, but right now it does not have it. So, engine cover's really light. It's got welded uh, finger hinges on the front, so the whole thing's removable if you want to get out of the way for service. But here we are, Yanmar 8LV. You can see our exhaust, cooling hoses going everywhere. 
Not much more to say except it's impressive and it makes good power and it's very efficient for the power that it has and the weight that this boat can haul.